Hey everybody, it's Red Angel, and you all know that I am a true fashionista at heart, but what you may not know is that I am a lover of modeling and photography and just that whole lifestyle, and I have on the line with me one of Atlanta's best photographers. Yes, I've been fortunate enough to scoop him up just for a moment so that he can introduce himself and let the world know a little bit more about him. So, James, could you please introduce yourself to all of my listeners around the world? Absolutely. My name is James C. Lewis. Um, I am a native of Georgia um, and currently living in the metro Atlanta area for the last 15 years. Um, I am a photographer slash designer slash entrepreneur. I wear a lot of hats, <laughs> but mostly um, I'm pretty much known as um, a photographer and um, an event coordinator for various events, um, mainly uh, my annual fashion show that I do every year. Okay. Now, I've had the pleasure of seeing your work, which is one of the reasons why I ended up reaching out to you. Facebook is a wonderful tool. And Absolutely. I've become a fan of your work, not, you know, just because of just because of the, the, the photographic piece, but there's an artistic element that's added to your work that when you look at the photos, you you feel as though you're looking at a piece of artwork. So you kind of, you, you stay focused on one picture for about a good minute to a minute and a half just studying it rather than just seeing a pic and flipping a page. So can you can you let us know how that ended up happen, happening, how you, you're able, you don't have to give away all your secrets, but what within you allows you or affords you the ability to be able to mesh the art with the photography? Well, um, for starters, um, I am an artist at heart um, and by degree. Um, I'm, I'm a graduate, a 1998 graduate of the Art Institute of Atlanta where I was a visual communications major. So that basically entailed um, illustration, um, fine art, graphic design. So I've fused all of those elements into my passion and love for photography, which takes on a more creative or artistic um, approach to just your traditional fashion or your editorial or your lifestyle. I wanted to do something that makes a person think, makes a person want to stop and say, wow, I wonder what made him do this. I wonder you right. know, what was going on in his head in order for him to come up with this particular concept. So that's... Um, that's kind of the method to my madness, I guess you could say. Right. And it's a method that obviously works because I, I see some of your artwork when you post it, and then you have so many people who follow and, and comment. And one of another thing that I do love about your work is that it some of the photos tell a story. And a lot of times, you know, you'll see people with the coffee table books where they do their photography, and it tells a story. I can honestly see you going that route if you have not thought about putting your photos and compiling them into a book because it does it does tell a story, and some of them a very unique story at that. And um, if you could just, you know, let everyone know where you pull from when it comes to telling a story. Like, do you do you take what's going on around you or in the community or globally, and then you just – Decide that okay, I'm gonna you know try to put this in a picture because I some people might miss the boat and don't catch that that one element of the storytelling. 
but some of your pieces they do that and and I just I'm just curious like what what makes you want to do that is it just a feeling at the time or something that hits you or do you actually pull from everything that's going on around you well it's it's a little of everything that you just said um I'm one of those photographers that I love old movies. Mm-hmm. Um, my two favorite eras are the 1930s, um, and one of the movies that really inspired me a lot was um, The Great Debaters with Denzel Washington. Um, that whole era, as well as the 1960s, um, was an era that I really liked. The 60s more so because it was so very, um, everything was so sharp and clean mm-hmm. and contoured, and, you know, it was it was so sleek and sophisticated. So that's, you know, something that I pulled from. Also, not to sound biased to any other races, but I celebrate um, the fact that I am, um, a black American. Um, mm-hmm. That's the name of my company. Um, Noir is French for black, and the 3000 is for timeless. So I wanted my work to be black and timeless, sort of like the phrase says, um, this is the new black or that is the new black right. or, you know, the whole term that's not necessarily meant to say that it's for black people per se, but it's something that will forever be in style, in vogue, you know, um, a cutting edge. A lot of the times I think we as um, black Americans or African Americans, um, however you identify yourselves, or people of color, I think a lot of times we don't see ourselves in depictions of royalty depictions of elegance, depictions of um, something outside of the norm of what everyone sees us. Um, I had a friend of mine that went um, out of the country um, over to Japan recently, and some of the teenagers ran up to him, and they were like, um, where's your gold chain? Where's your gold teeth? Where's your tattoos? Because that's what they think we as black or African Americans or people of color over here in the state, that's what we all look like. We all are tatted up. We all have piercings. Right. <laughs> um, we all sag our pants. We all, and I want to change that perception to let people know that, no, not all of us look like that. Um, right. That's not the general consensus of the black experience in the United States. And, there's something else that can be taken from the overall experience. So I, I want to introduce people to stuff that they don't necessarily see, as well as okay. there's times that I may see a person out and they're, they have a great look, but they have the saggy pants and the, the beaters on and, and all of that. And I say, you know what, hey, here's my card. Come to my studio. I'm going to do a shoot with you. And I will completely right. transform them from what they typically wear into something else. And I've had a few of them to even come back and say, you know what, James, you actually changed my concept of my dressing style, and I dress differently now. Because all before, I didn't think that that was me, but I had never tried it before. Right. And, right. you know, it's, it's, it's all about trying something new. It's all about a, a, a different experience. So I pull from all sorts of sources in order to, come up with the end result of new r3000 mm-hmm. wow and you know what's ironic that you're saying saying that i think that there are there are a group of individuals especially here in atlanta uh, a core group of individuals where they're doing what you what it is that you're doing where you know trying to give people a different perception of the african-american you know culture um and Show them that that we cannot be placed in a box, number one, but we are intelligent, we are very well-spoken, and we are classy. And exactly. it's okay to be that way. Perfectly all right to be that way. And I commend you because, like I said, if you haven't noticed, I am a fan. Like, it, 
you know, you should be shocked that I haven't gone Valley Girl on you already <laughs> just because I have you on my phone right now. So, um, wow. you know, I've been watching you for quite a watching your work for quite look, watching you. God, that sounds like a stalker. I've been watching your work <laughs> for quite a while <laughs> now. <laughs> so I am definitely, definitely honored to, to have you on the phone and, and allow others to you know, get to know you and your work, and hopefully, you know, there will be some people who want to come and work with you. I recommend that they do, to be honest. You know, if there's gonna, if there's a, an aspiring model out there, I think that getting in front of your lens would be such a benefit because you're going to be able to capture an essence within them that they probably didn't know that they had. Wow. Well, thank you. I, I'm flattered. <laughs> oh, you're you're welcome. Your work, I mean, like I said, it speaks for itself. And if you could please let everyone know where they can find you and find your work, and if they want to work with you, how do they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Um, you all can find me on Facebook um, under James C. Lewis. Um, last name L E W I S. You can also reach me via email at clewis25 at msn.com, and that's C-L-E-W-I-S-2-5 at msn.com. Um, I am always, um, always on Facebook. <laughs> so whether I'm on Facebook via my laptop or via my cell phone, you can always reach me um those two ways. Um, I'm also on Model Mayhem under the name Noir 3000. That's N-O-I-R-E 3000. Um, you can look me up on there. Um, and pretty much um, if anyone that's familiar with you, Kenya, they um, can feel free um, to contact me through you as well. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to let them know, too. Um, trust me, <laughs> this evening, you know, I will be on Twitter to let everyone know that you're going to be on Red Angel Radio and let everyone know that they need to get at you, definitely. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are there any shout-outs or anything you want to give before we end this interview? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I am currently running um, two specials um, right now that, you know, you happy listeners can um, <laughs> can check out. Um, I have a July Fly Photo Spectacular Special, which is three looks, 75 shots, um, which is $200. That offer is good until the end of this month. So if you would like to um, get in contact with me in regards to that, you can um, via Facebook again, James C. Lewis, or um, contact me directly um, via my email at clewis25 at msn.com. I also have another special, but it's um, it's not until September 17th through the 18th, um, which is Noir 3000 goes to Miami. So I will be in Miami <laughs> shooting on South Beach um, for two days, September 17th and 18th. Um, you can book in advance. Now, this basically includes um, three beach looks, one beauty, one full body, and one co-ed. Um, this is a $500 package. And no, this does not include your travel and your um, hotel accommodations. That is on you. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. um, it does include those three beach looks that I mentioned, and um, it is going to be September 17th and 18th down in Miami, Florida. So, if you would like to um, get those shots that you always wanted on the beach, um, come and check out the new R3000 experience. Um, once again, um, you can hit me up on Facebook, James C. Lewis, or via my email at clewis25 at msn.com. And that's it. Well, all of my aspiring models, fashionistas, and those who just want to get in front of the camera and it may be your first time, I definitely recommend you get with Noir 3000 and James C. Lewis right away. I'm giving him, you know, I'm, I'm vouching for him. I've seen his work. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. So make sure you do that. 
Don't go anywhere, listeners. I have some more great music coming up for you next. Can you hold